Hello and welcome back to my channel. This video is all about piping buttercream roses. These are flowers that are piped with frosting so they are totally edible and are beautiful on a cake, cupcakes, or cookie, or any type of treat. To pipe the size and style of rose in this video, using a tip 103 or 104 will give a similar look. You can find recipes for my buttercream frosting on my website at customcakesandcupcakes.com and also on my channel here. I will link it in the description. Let's go through the full process here before we slow it down. In order to get nice full roses, you'll want to start with a blob of buttercream like this, pipe a little ribbon around it, and then a cone on top for a nice high rosebud to start from. Then we'll add our first petal, which is going to be an arc just like this across the rosebud. We'll start with a row of three, and then move to five, and then move to seven, as roses are typically found with odd numbered petals per row in nature. Make sure to pipe with the narrow end of your tip up and the wider end of the tip down. I'm using a standard size flower nail with some parchment squares that I cut up before. We're going to freeze these flowers on the parchment squares so they're more easy to add to our dessert later. Now let's slow the piping process down and see it up close. We'll start with that blob of buttercream right in the center, and we're going to wrap it around with a ribbon of buttercream, essentially, just like this. Then we'll pipe a small cone on top to resemble a rosebud. Here's the first petal. We'll pipe in an arc shape over the rosebud, and repeat this two more times so that they're overlapping each other. We are just piping three petals in the first row. The next row, we're going to pipe five petals, overlapping one another like this. It doesn't need to be odd numbers. You could certainly do six or so. Oftentimes, however, if you do a row of four, it can give it a squarish, kind of an unnatural look. But the number of petals is totally your choice and whatever you think looks best. This will take some extra time and practice. You can make the rows as large as you want. I often stop at about a row of seven or nine. And here's the full process again. I like to set my finished roses on my flower nail buddy stands here, which are sold in my shop, and I'll link that in the description as well. They're also really nice if you have an interruption while you're piping. You can't really set your flower nail down anywhere, and you don't want to destroy it. Um, they hold it upright so nothing happens to it while you are attending to other tasks. And once again, the flower can be as large as you'd like it to be. Just make sure you pipe with the narrow end of the tip up and the wide end down. When piping roses, you'll want to use a stiff consistency buttercream, so add some extra powdered sugar to thicken it up. I like to freeze my roses once they're finished. I just pop them off the flower nail and put them right into containers. They don't take long to freeze at all, 10, 20 minutes. Then pop them out of the freezer and attach them to your cake or cupcakes or cookies with a little bit of fresh buttercream like this. You don't want to handle them in your hands for too long, but if your process is taking a while, you can always put them back in the freezer and continue with your cake again later. You can also pipe your flowers a day or two ahead of time and put lids on the containers until you're ready to use them. Here is another method I don't typically use, but if you don't have time to freeze them or if you want to just place them right from the cake without freezing them, you can pipe them right onto the flower nail itself and skip the parchment paper like this. And then once you're finished, set them in the flower nail buddy until you're ready to add them to the cake. And then rather than transferring them to a freezer and then placing them on the cake, using a flower lifter, or I actually just like to use a small scissors, take the scissors and open the blades all the way, and then squeeze them together under the flower. Lift it with the scissors closed, place it on the cake, and then open the handle again to release it. Let me know in the comments if you prefer the freezing method or the scissors method. Here is a final look of a cake with some roses and some other florals as well. Thank you so much for watching!